Welcome back, everybody, to the Morning Update Show. I'm your co-host, Trey Holiday, And joining me on the set, you guys know I love artistry, is Miss Jay Ware, right here, spoken word artist. What's up, Jay? <laughs> <laughs> welcome, welcome. Thank you. Uh, well, you know what? We're glad that you're here today. And, you know, we've been uplifting the Mata Rocka Festival. It looks like it is going to be a real jam. I, I want you to be able to share a little bit about who you are so the folks can kind of get a glimpse of, like, who is involved in this amazing festival. Okay. Well, first of all, I'm Jay. And so um, I'm a poet, a spoken word artist, a playwright, and I have been performing spoken word for years. And normally I perform perform at art galleries, at museums, schools, libraries, uh, town hall. I performed on Orcas and Vashon Island. And I just write, write a wide variety of poetry. Um, what's really near and dear to my heart is social justice and injustice, uh, poetry and spoken word. Uh, also, close to my heart, are children. So I write children's stories and prose. And then on Clubhouse, I actually have a room called Pop-Up Poetry. And that is how I met Simon. Even though Simon is here in Seattle, <laughs> I have not met that man yet. But I am so um, inspired by him. He's just phenomenal. And I'm super duper excited about Mataraka. Yeah, so Simon is the one that brought you into Mataraka, and Simon has been like really curating a lot of the talent around this. How has this been for you? Because I've seen you all over community. You've been involved in a lot of different things. So <laughs> how does this festival kind of stand up to some of the other experiences you've had in community? That's a super good question. It really, really is. And so it stands separate and apart. I'm going to tell you it stands separate and apart from what I normally do. And it is way outside the box of my comfort zone, um, what I'm comfortable with, what I'm familiar with. Uh, it is certainly not an art gallery. It is not a museum. It is a humongous festival with some ex a astounding talent. And so when Simon asked me to perform, I was like, what? <laughs> um, but clearly Simon saw that there was something in me where, you know, I could pull it up and pull it out and perform. And so um, because of the confidence that he placed in me, and then I saw all the amazing, I mean bona fide, amazing talent that was going to be at the Mataraka Festival, I was like, oh, no, 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 no. I'm not about to let Simon down. I'm not about to embarrass myself. I'm going to look at all the videos. I'm going to be ready. I'm going to be prepared. And so um, there's poetry that I've already done before. But I knew that Mataraka required something different different and so it really required that I prepare in a different way and present in a different way and I'm just so excited to stretch myself that's what's happening here I love it I'm I stretching love it, Jay. it I love it Jay and, and you know I think um you know, we've talked about it many times right here on the Morning Update show about how COVID has really hit our artist community mm -hmm. in a real particular way. Mm -hmm. And how have you been able to continue on throughout, you know, maybe there was a lack of opportunities. Some folks have said there's a surge of opportunities, right? So it really depends on where you are on the spectrum. How has that been for you to continue persevering as an artist, you know, and a spoken word artist throughout all of this transformative time we've been in? You keep asking good questions, <laughs> <laughs> but I got to answer. Um, so I'm a member of the African American Writers Alliance. And through the Alliance, we performed at a wide variety of locations. And of course, we had to pause. We had to pause and figure out, OK, how are we going to do this now? And just like everyone else, that pause resulted in our having to figure out how to use technology. And so in terms of performances and wanting artists out there and trying to make sure that that hiccup didn't last for very, very long, we started performing like a lot of other folks virtually. As a matter of fact, my first play that was accepted, a short play called um, Madison Park Bench. Yeah, yeah. 
that was a plug. Mm -hmm. um, Madison Park Bench, it was initially uh, scheduled to be a, a reading at the University of Washington and then COVID barreled through and so we had to pivot. And Sadiqa Inman, Sadiqa, you're all right, girl. Sadiqa Inman was my director, and she said, well, why don't we just film the thing? Why don't we just film it on location? I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and so those are, you just have to pivot. Um, and that's, and it, it's much different um, when you're a vocalist and when you have a band or when you're a dancer, I, I, I'm like, Girl, <laughs> I know I know most people are sick and tired of Zoom. Sick and tired of Zoom and you know other virtual platforms and they're ready for things to be live. So yeah, yeah we just had to pivot. And um, fortunately we have some really good people that work for the Alliance and we had already made lots of connections um, with individuals and organizations and so it's like we're still ready, we're still able, we're still capable, we're still willing to perform and so we just had to do it in a way that wasn't fantastic um, but it served its purpose. You know, I, I think that that's really it. And and I think, you know, we all kind of were like, all right, we got to go with these shifts. We got to go with these pivots. We got to, you know what I mean? We, we, we got to pull out our laptops. We got to <laughs> download Zoom onto our phones. There was all of us dealing with all of that. Now, yeah. I'm excited because, you know, Modern Rock is going to have a really uh, dope lineup of performances. And you were talking a bit about that. What are folks to experience for Modern Rock Festival this year? year. Um, it's something that has happened before, but this is really unique in its experience. What are some of the things that you've been able to kind of glean from it as a spoken word artist who's going to be performing? What are folks going to expect? I'm telling you, <laughs> folks are going to be able to expect and to experience a lot. So when it comes to performances and entertainment and top notch, top of the line, some of the a-list performers, you can expect energy at a 10. So mine might be at a five or six. <laughs> <laughs> but like Dre's, who is, you know, out of Seattle and now living in uh, California and Pato, uh, there's just, I just can't even begin to tell you just being able to be outdoors and to be around so many artists who are just excited to be performing their heart out and not only to be performing entertaining but also because it's for an excellent cause uh, so simon is from kenya and for several years this is the seventh festival the seventh event uh, and this is the first time it's been outdoors in seattle which is really bellevue it's going to be in bellevue but the thing is is that simon is raising funds he's collecting instruments and the whole goal all the money goes towards children and i told you before near and dear to my heart children in Kenya so that they also can experience the richness and the gifts and the talents and the ability to play an instrument. So not only can that be an opportunity for them to earn an income, but also it's just really fulfilling to have that type of talent. Yeah, well, you know, you're right. Um, absolutely. And uh, I, I spent time in Kenya and oh. around youth. And let me tell you, it was some of the <laughs> best experience of my life because really you see so much hope and, and, mm. and promise, right? Of like, hey, you know, I'm going to be something. And it's like, absolutely you are. And you can be whatever you want. So I love that this has such a direct cause to make sure that children over there are benefited. Yeah. Now, you know, uh, you're a spoken word artist. And before I let you go out, here you know what i'm saying i gotta see if you got something you can spit on the mic for us jay you see me bat my eyes <laughs> <laughs> well i'll tell you what i'm going to do for you what i'm going to do is just give you a sample just a sample of what i'm going to be performing so i've got 15 minutes at the mic um uh, one will be just stand up regular common everyday spoken word and the other will be a little more energized so i'm going to give you the energized one and i really wish i could get up but i'm going to try and give you that same energy while sitting in this chair so it's going to start like this i'm coming in black you see the melon in my skin i'm coming in black 
It's no wonder we all can. I'm coming in black. I'm coming in black. I love you, Africa, yeah. My mama, Africa, yeah. I love you, Africa, yeah. My papa, Africa, yeah. That's it. That's it. You want to hear the rest? You know what to do. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yes, Jay. You know, snaps all around. Snaps Can all around. Can I show around. people something? Yeah. Okay, people. Didn't I say I was coming in black? I came in black with T-shirts. Yes. So now there's Converge clothing that you can buy. <laughs> there is One Vibe clothing that you can buy. And there is Coming in Black. Oh, Hold up. There it is. Hey. Wherever you go, come in black. Because that's going to be the first thing folks will see, okay? I love it, Jay. <laughs> and, 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 you know, where can folks find out more information to, to make sure that they are there coming in black and going to hear the rest of you coming in black? You know, I think probably the easiest and the quickest thing to do is Google. Google Madaraka Festival, Madaraka Festival 21. Just Google it and all the information is going to come up that you will need in order to um, sign up, sign in, show up. Well, you know, lastly, we always love to give folks time. How can folks contact you if they're like, man, I want to hire you for, you know, a, a thing I'm doing. I, I need your energy. I want your vibe. How can they connect with you? Right now, the first thing you can do is to go to the African American Writers Alliance website, www.aawa.seattle-org. Mm. My website is coming. Yeah. It's coming. So they can get in, co in contact with you through the Writers Association. Man, Jay, mm -hmm. you came with that fire. I thank you so much. I, I know you guys are excited. I'm elated over here. Good vibes and good energy with Jay Ware in the building. Thank you so much for joining us today. You know what? Thank you for letting me join you, girl. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs>